Something extraordinary has happened in northern Germany. Something so important that every major energy company, every climate researcher, and every government with an eye on the future is suddenly paying very close attention. In the quiet coastal town of Greifswald, a machine that looks like it was ripped straight from the engine room of a sci-fi starship has just taken humanity a leap closer to the dream of limitless clean energy. Germany has switched on the world's largest nuclear fusion reactor, the Wendelstein 7X Stellarator, and it has done what scientists worldwide believed was still years away. It held a miniature star, superheated plasma hotter than the core of the sun, stable for 43 astonishing seconds. 43 seconds may sound fleeting, but in fusion physics, it is a monumental victory, a sign that the countdown to real commercial fusion power has truly begun. Fusion is no longer a fantasy. Fusion is entering reality. Inside the twisting magnetic coils of Wendelstein 7X, something previously thought nearly impossible occurred. Scientists managed to sustain extremely hot, extremely dense plasma at conditions necessary for fusion long enough to cross a critical scientific threshold. Researchers call this threshold the triple product temperature high enough for fusion, density strong enough to keep particles colliding, and confinement time long enough for the reaction to continue. Holding all three stable at once is so complex that many compare it to juggling three flaming torches while riding a bicycle, except the bicycle is on ice and the torches are trying to explode. Yet in Greifswald, the plasma remained calm, contained and stable for 43 seconds. For fusion scientists, this is nothing short of a miracle. The Max Planck Institute, which operates the machine, confirmed the achievement and emphasized its importance. Keeping plasma stable for this long means fusion has crossed from proof of concept into repeatable engineering reality. And, you know, repeatability is everything. Sustained, predictable plasma behavior is the soul of every commercial fusion reactor. Without it, no power plant can ever operate continuously. Germany's breakthrough changes that equation permanently. For more than half a century, the fusion world has been dominated by the tokamak, a donut-shaped reactor design used by huge international projects like ITER. Tokamaks are powerful and proven, but they carry an Achilles heel. They rely on electrical currents running through the plasma itself. And plasma currents are... Well, they're temperamental. They destabilize. They twist. They kink. They cause sudden collapses called disruptions, which limit how long a tokamak can operate and often force it to run in pulses, turning on and off like the heartbeat of a giant machine. That's a problem if you're trying to power a nation. The Stellarator, by contrast, uses a completely different strategy. Instead of asking the plasma to generate part of its own magnetic confinement, stellarators use a series of external, intricately shaped superconducting coils. These coils, curved in complex patterns, generate magnetic fields that guide the plasma continuously, like invisible rails keeping a train perfectly aligned. Wendelstein 7X contains 50 of these coils, each manufactured with millimeter-level precision using advanced simulations and specialized industrial processes. The engineering challenge was enormous, but the reward is game-changing, a machine that can theoretically operate continuously without the sudden collapses that limit tokamaks. Germany's 43-second plasma run demonstrated on a global stage that the Stellarator is not just an exotic alternative, it might actually be the best architecture for future fusion power plants. Stable, predictable, 
Continuous. This is honestly exactly what a commercial energy grid needs. While the headlines focused on the 43-second plasma run, the real unsung hero of the breakthrough was something far less glamorous, pellet injection. Fusion fuel burns extremely quickly. Without a steady flow of fresh fuel, the plasma cools, destabilizes, and collapses. Historically, that has been one of the hardest engineering problems to overcome. During the historic experiment, Wendell Stein 7X injected 90 tiny frozen hydrogen pellets, each just a small bead of ice, yet each holding precious fuel for the plasma. But what makes this so extraordinary is the physics. These pellets must travel at supersonic speeds, survive through zones hotter than any place in the solar system, slip through complex magnetic fields, vaporize at the perfect moment, and disperse evenly into the plasma without disturbing its stability. You know, just one mistake, one pellet delivered at the wrong angle or at the wrong timing, and the entire plasma configuration collapses instantly. Yet, Germany's system worked flawlessly. It demonstrated that fuel can be delivered in a smooth, controlled rhythm, something absolutely essential for future power plants designed to operate 24-7. Fusion, honestly, cannot rely on bursts of luck. It requires the steady heartbeat of a well-engineered fueling system. Pellet injection is that heartbeat. Germany's recent breakthroughs are not isolated scientific triumphs. They are part of a national strategy. The German government has committed over 2 billion euros through 2029 to accelerate fusion research, expand facilities, and cultivate a new industrial ecosystem around fusion technology. Of this, over 1 billion euros is allocated directly to research through 2028. This includes support for reactor upgrades, new prototypes, industrial partnerships, and fusion-related manufacturing capacity. But, you know, Germany's ambitions go beyond just funding. They are actually rewriting radiation protection laws and designing entirely new regulatory frameworks specifically for fusion systems. Since fusion doesn't carry the same risks or waste profile as nuclear fission. Germany wants the legal and industrial foundation for fusion to be ready well before the first commercial reactor even breaks ground. Why? Well, because the country absolutely refuses to repeat the vulnerabilities that were exposed during those recent natural gas disruptions. Energy security honestly has become a political priority across multiple parties. Fusion offers something Germany desperately wants. Energy independence. It also promises, you know, virtually unlimited fuel, deuterium from seawater and tritium bred internally. On top of that, there are zero carbon emissions, minimal long-term radioactive waste, and honestly, an entire new sector of high-tech industrial jobs. Where other countries see fusion as an experiment, Germany increasingly sees it as the backbone of its future national energy strategy. Germany's scientific milestone has, well, ignited a fierce race among startups determined to build the first operational fusion power plant. So, there are four companies right at the center of this new industrial revolution. Gauss Fusion, Proxima Fusion, Marvel Fusion, and Focused Energy. All of these companies have secured significant investment. Each one has ambitious timelines. And, well, they all believe Germany is really poised to become the global hub of commercial fusion technology. Gauss Fusion has publicly released Europe's first full engineering blueprint for a commercial fusion power plant, an estimated 15 to 18 billion euro project that's targeting operation in the mid-2040s. It's designed around a continuous stellarator architecture, inspired by Wendelstein 7X. 
Proxima Fusion, spun out of the Max Planck Institute, is working on ultra-optimized stellarator designs using advanced computational methods. Their goal is to have demonstration plants up and running in the early 2030s. Marvel Fusion and Focused Energy are both pursuing different fusion methods, including laser-driven approaches, injecting innovation into, well, pretty much every possible pathway. Collectively, these startups have approached the government for 3 billion euros in public funding to accelerate development, something Berlin is, you know, taking very seriously. Germany isn't merely participating in the fusion race. Germany intends to lead it. When the Wendelstein 7X reactor held plasma stable for 43 seconds, it didn't just meet a scientific milestone. It, uh, actually shattered expectations. It proved that fusion stability is achievable. Stellarators may be the future of commercial reactors. Fueling methods for long operations work reliably. And, honestly, Germany's fusion strategy is already paying off. Clean, abundant, carbon-free fusion energy is moving out of theory and into engineering. For decades, fusion was talked about the way people spoke about flying cars, always 30 years away. But now, for the first time in history, the timeline is shrinking. The engineering is catching up. The political support is in place. The industrial foundation is being built. Germany has lit a spark that will not be extinguished. Fusion is coming, and the world is changing with